why I don't work with PR companies. So, you know, what's a PR company? We're talking about public relations. And so there are obviously advantages and disadvantages to working with a PR company. Now, just very general, what does a PR company do? We know that they're going to help you with things like putting together a press release, contacting media, trying to pitch stories, supposedly help with managing your social media accounts because it's supposed to be everything basically out to the world, right? So what the world sees in relation to your brand, your artistry, all of that, the PR company is supposed to be helping with. But then they're also supposed to be monitoring like the World Wide Web and seeing what's going on, what are the criticisms, they're supposed to be responding to comments. And then of course, dealing with crisis management. So when something really happens, call your PR rep and get some help. So that's all great, right? So a lot of us think, well, I need the PR company and they're going to really help to elevate the brand. So there are some reasons why you don't want to work with PR companies. And this is also partially from my personal experience. And so let me just share a couple of things and I hope you guys find this helpful. Please be sure to like the video as we go through if you find any of this helpful. So, you know, number one, let's just talk about cost. You know, when it comes to hiring a PR company pretty much across the board, they're going to do flat fees. And so on this, you know, lower end, it might be 1500 bucks on the more higher end, it might be more like five grand. And that's a lot of money. And what's built into that is just kind of this global promise of all those things I just talked about, right? And so my problem with that is it's not being delineated very well. I need to know exactly what you're doing. What am I paying for? You know, and that's just my thought process because I'm paying for it, right? So, you know, flat fees are common. But the other thing is that a lot of PR companies want to sign you into long-term contracts, which might be as simple as a three to six month contract. So it locks in the payment. And again, my problem is that if you have not had an opportunity to work with a PR company or this particular PR company that you're speaking with, what if it doesn't go good? And now you're locked into a 3,000, 4,500, you know, just exponential <laughs> amount of money um, for a package deal. So as far as cost, that's one of my biggest issues that I have with PR companies because they're asking for a lot upfront from you without being able to really make a guarantee. Now, you can check me on this if you ever do consider working with a PR company and you get their contract and you'll notice that the contract does not really say anything, right? So just as far as what they're gonna do for you, it's like, we'll try to help with blah, 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 but they don't make any promises. And it's kind of understandable why. So that brings me then to the second, right, reason why I don't really work with PR companies. They overpromise and they under deliver. The problem is that PR companies are gonna work with everybody, right, because they're just service providers. And they're like, well, you need a press release. Well, you want, you know, send me, I'll send some emails on your behalf. I'll help you with your social media. So they'll help you without having any kind of quality control. And so, you know, they're going to overpromise the world and they're going to under deliver because a lot of times they are relying on their networks and their email lists and all the things that they have built for themselves, which are not genre specific, right? So for the type of music that you're doing, you need something specific to your genre, right? Someone who does, you know, heavy metal rock is not going to be a good fit for the country music media outlet, right? And so when they're just kind of sending these broad distributions to different email lists and, and all this, I mean, they're just not going to get anything for you. Okay, so for me, that was a problem. And again, I have hired PR companies. So I'm using uh, my actual knowledge. And then obviously, I've been representing artists for like nine plus years. So that helps as well. Um, but anyway, this is just common experiences across the board. So, you know, just you'll find that they are not only going to under deliver, but there really is a lack of control, right? Because you're not putting together the press releases and you know, even if you have notes, even if they give you the opportunity to review what they're doing or posting for you, you really don't have control over it. Okay. And that's the difference, right? So we talk about like a PR company that we've hired versus someone that works for you. So the lack of control is something pretty big for me because obviously it can make it really difficult to control your image, right? How you're represented. And, you know, for a lot of people, that's a really important thing. And then, you know, the fourth thing that I'll point out as far as why I don't work with PR companies very much anymore is, you know, ethical concerns. So if you have certain things about your brand, right, if you have, you know, maybe a certain religious affiliation or political affiliation, something that is specific to what you're doing, if someone's not being careful that they can create a really serious conflict or say something on your behalf, right, because they're going to speak for you. So I've seen some issues come up with this as well. So then taking that all together, these are some of the problems. But, you know, if you want to try a company, I also like to say it this way. If you want to try someone, do it. But 
Obviously, that's a good amount of money. Even if you tried one month at $1,500, where could that $1,500 have gone as far as maybe like ads to something that was working? I mean, just think about that. So alternatively, instead of the PR company route, what if in a magical world that you could build for yourself, if you became your own music business, right? AKA become your own record label. What if you hired someone who is trained in PR services, right? So as far as just drafting press releases and reaching out to media, local, national, international, helping with your social media manager or management, I should say, but basically doing all these things and you pay them hourly, Fiverr, Upwork, these are contractor websites where you can go and find just incredibly talented people. And you can also find people, you know, if you're posting to your stories and just people who follow you, be like, hey, do you do this thing? So you can find people to work at an hourly rate. So all of a sudden now your $1,500, which just went into the nebulous of the world and you don't know really how it was implemented, what it paid for, who it paid for. Now you actually have direct oversight because someone works for you. So you get to control the brand, you get to control the image, you get to control everything, including costs. Because then you can say, you know, this is kind of what I want to pay. These are many, as many hours that I'm looking for you to work. So for me, as far as getting help on that end, hiring contractors is way more inexpensive, but you get a better end product in, in my opinion, because you can have someone who's really dedicated to what you're doing, right? You find the applicant that works for you, that fits for you, and that you are just gonna be super, super happy with. So I don't work so much with PR companies anymore, but if you do, leave a comment down below. Let me know your experience, and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you found it helpful.